What time is it? Nine? Roundabouts. It's nine o'clock. We've been up since... We've been up since... Uh, not too early. Half six, quarter to seven, seven-ish. It's kind of sunny. We're in a forest. And uh, we can go running. It's a little bit muddy. But not too bad. And it should be dry all day, so... Let's see how it goes. We've got post-race showers, seven pounds, quite a bargain. But it's like quite a lot of space, so if I get muddy, I should be in there after. Let's have a quick look at where we are. Wire forest, weir forest? W-Y-R-E forest. Somewhere near Wales-ish, maybe? It looks like it's gonna be a nice day though, so at least we're not gonna get rained on. Looks good, looks good. Two and a half hours is the time limit from my the target for me, but I think it's gonna be a bit less. A bit more, I mean, probably three, three hours. I'll try two and a half. So here we are, beautiful wire forest. It's not hot, but it's not raining. Nice and dry. It's quite muddy, so. Probably not going to talk much, otherwise I'm going to have to fall on my ass. Well, first impressions is it's slightly hillier than Suffolk, that's for sure. I'll save a bit of energy, I think, on these hills because there's probably quite a few of them today. That's about a mile in, and uh, it's getting a little bit muddy, but not too bad. Still jogging, not first, not last, just doing my thing. Uh, yeah, keep going. Oh, it's lovely here. I could do a whole marathon here, I reckon. Maybe. I'll change my mind on that in a few miles. We just passed the two mile mark. Um, not filming a lot on the muddy stuff because I don't want to trip over and fall on my face. But uh, yeah, it's a lovely place. Lovely forest, nice people. Uh, I'm in the lead. I'm not, there's loads of people up there. But uh, yeah, it's great. What a great excuse to get out. Oh, and the best thing about this is at the bottom of every hill, happy face to greet you on the way up. Hello chap, welcome to the hill. Here we go again. That's about three miles and a bit, I think so. Ish, quarter, quarter distance here, roughly. Something like that. Oh, this is, I'm no expert on horse racing, but this is soft, very soft in places. Well, I'll tell you what, this is definitely harder than running on pavement. So that's about five miles in, so I don't know, less than a third, more than a third away, I mean. Less than two thirds to go. Uh, yeah, still going. Not really a lot else to say. Enjoying the scenery. The uh, conditions are pretty boggy in places, which is, uh, it makes it, makes you feel like you're losing your energy quicker. And then you've got this lovely scenery to bring the energy back in, so it's all it's a bit of a balance, so it's all good really. I'm not sure about these hills though. Oh keep going. Five uh, eight miles left to go, something like that. Seven and a half. Oh Gav's probably finished. Well I've not stopped for a breather. Uh, definitely not. I just stopped to have a quick look around. I mean, look at this place. Doesn't that look nice? Oh, must be about six and a half miles, about halfway-ish. Uh, just had half my banana. Had a little bit of a walk while I was eating because I can't really run and eat. And uh, yeah, wait for that banana to get into me and then away we go. Second half. Whew. Ooh, I'm not quite sure how far we are. Maybe eight miles? I don't know. I'm trying to gain a bit of uh, time on this less muddy bit, but I don't want to burn completely out and have nothing left for the end. We've got to get to the end, so uh, save something in the legs on these easy bits as well, because that mud is a killer for the energy. At least I haven't got too much to carry. Yeah. Afternoon, morning. Is it still morning, is it? It's still morning. Oh, I've not been out as long as it feels. 
Look at this. I just want to film a bit of this hill because it's pulling in steep. And the good thing about all them lovely steep downhills is, you know you've got to make that up again to get back to where we started at. Oh, that's nice. Little stream. Don't drop the camera. Lovely. All right, on we go. Again, that wasn't a stop to catch my breath. Just showing you the scenery. Nine miles by the look of it. 10, 11, 12, 13. four to go. Got about that much of my banana left. And uh, have a bit of drink. There's a lady not far behind me. She's a very good road runner. She's absolutely killing it on that flat bit when there's not a lot of mud. And she flew past and uh, I just nipped back past on that really muddy bit. So I'm using her as a bit of a pacemaker sort of thing. If she comes back past me, then when I get to the mud, I try and really try hard to make that time back up. But again, conscious of making sure I get to the end. Get to the end. It's up there somewhere. Four more miles up there. Ooh. Battery's a bit low. Looks like I might die soon. Oh, apologies for the wind noise if there isn't. It's a little windy now. Little spots of rain about as well. And uh, well, there goes the road run off into the distance. And uh, I'm having a snack. It's Sunday, isn't it? You don't have to do too much on a Sunday. Have a bit of a chill out. Oh, definitely a bit of rain about it. Well, that's not helped, has it? Uh, we're past the 10 mile mark and not too far back there, so there's about three more miles of this to go, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm not running at the moment. I'm walking, enjoying my banana. So save a little last piece when I really need it. And like usual, there is cake in the car. Well, flapjack, but uh, yeah. That should help me get back to the car at least. A bit of a banoffee flapjack, maybe? That sounds nice. That's worth three miles of running, isn't it? Anyway, better go. The uh, battery's flashing at me again, so I want to try and save a little bit of battery for the end. That's the last drink stop before the end coming up, so I imagine it's only two and a half miles or something to the finish and it's most likely all going to be uphill from here so I might not jog all the way to the end because it is getting blooming hard to run I've got about a kilo of mud in my shoes uh, I've drunk all my drink I've eaten nearly all my banana uh, yeah, nearly there it'd be easier to cycle though I suppose I should have done that, I should have bought my bike I'll be finished by now I'm back in the car, eating my flapjack Oh, must be nearly there now, eh? Uh, Getting on for it. Miles. Doing a bit to go. Uh, and mostly uphill, probably, is it? Pretty much. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh. Lovely, thank you very much. Right, two and a bit to go. Mostly uphill and still blooming muddy. But look at this, nice scenery still. That gives you a bit of energy, doesn't it? Again, I've, uh, I've not stopped for a rest. <sighs> no, I haven't stopped for I just stopped to show you this sign. Uh, 11 miles done, two miles to go. Look at this, have you seen how muddy it is? I haven't got the energy to run through there, but it's gonna be fun, isn't it? Unless I fall over. But, uh, let's have a go, shall we? See what happens. Two miles to go! I think that banana's kicked in. I tell you what, I bet this doesn't look as steep on camera as what it is. It's plumbing hilly. This must be the last bit back to the car. It's all gonna be uphill from here because we've been doing a lot of downhill lately. I shouldn't have run through them puddles because my legs are, are done. But not too far from the end, so keep it going. Oh, I definitely couldn't have run up that, I tell you. That is steeper than it looks. Of 
quick little pro tip. Uh, if you're carrying a banana, half eaten one, and a lens cloth for the camera, uh, best to keep them in separate pockets. Because otherwise you get banana on your lens cloth. That's about it really. They can't be far to go, but my legs are shot from this mud. We're nearly there anyway. And it's still looking nice out. Lovely blue sky. So I can't really complain. I don't think I'm winning, but I'm gonna get to the finish. How to travel in the countryside. I forgot mine. Bit of horse riding. Well, I am exhausted. This sticky mud is definitely taking its toll. It's not far to go. Last bit of banana. This could go one of two ways and I'm not eating it if it goes on the floor. Ah, I lost it, I lost it. That was supposed to be a morale booster for the last couple of kilometers or the last mile or whatever. Never mind, I've saved this. That'll do instead. Sorry Gavin, I lost your bit of banana. I'll buy you another one. Here we go. Last bit of drink gone. Nice bit of food gone. Let's get to it. Let's get to the car. Come on. We're nearly there. He says we're nearly there. Yeah, and I trust him. Well, Always trust good. a photographer. Yeah, yeah. Last oh, it's uphill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> I was half expecting it. This last mile is going to be a killer. It's so sticky and muddy. It's uphill. Oh, I dropped my banana. Oh. I can't run this last bit. I have to walk up the hill. Man. Two and a half hours was the target and we're over that already. We must be nearing on three by the time I get to the top of the hill, I reckon. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Come on, one more to go. Let's finish. Oh, I'm absolutely done in, but I just had a quick look at the time. I think I've got about seven, eight minutes to make it just under three hours. I can hear the finish, but the wind's coming this way, so it could be a way off yet. I've got nothing left in the legs. This mud is just a killer. I don't think three hours is doable. I don't know. Let's try. Well, that's uh, three hours has gone, so I didn't quite make it back, but I can see the car. Thank you very much. I can hear it, I can hear it, I can hear the finish. Right up there, you're there, well done. I can see the car park, I can see the finish, so we'll get there. I think I killed the last bit. I'm filming in my pocket. I filmed a lot in my pocket and not a lot on my face. There we go, if you missed it because I wasn't recording, we're at the finish. Uh, I'll go and find my medal and then find that flapjack. Oh, that road runner lady done me for the last couple of miles, that's for sure. Oh. Well, thank you very much. Sweets as well, look at that. Lovely, thank you very much and some sweets for that. Thank you. Oh. There we are. That's the wire forest done. Uh, I didn't get back in time for cook breakfast. I missed out on that. I've got a lovely little trophy thing. Some Haribo, bottle of water. And uh, raspberry and blueberry diet protein shake. That sounds right, actually. Sounds just what I need. There we go. Until the next one.